Hey guys, this is my dad's team, so uh, you can ignore the fact that I'm wearing uh, hats from the same division because the Rays are my team, the O's are my dad's team. So I support them both, but of course the Rays just a bit more. Um, but I just want to talk really quick about the, uh, the, te the, the Texas National Day of Prayer thing that Governor Rick Perry called. And while I tend to agree with most people's criticisms that, you know, prayer on this scale or prayer in this way is, is just useless. I think people would do a much better job externalizing and vocalizing their problems by just merely vocalizing and externalizing their problems. And if it helps them to personally envision a fictional deity or a fictional entity to talk to, you know, as they meditate and reflect upon their issues and the problems of the day, then that's fine. But when you gather this many people together and try and manipulate them into significantly believing that that inner dialogue will actually accomplish something on its own, because that's just step one, recognizing your problems. You have to recognize problems before you can fix them. So we do have to do some exercises to make ourselves aware of problems that we weren't otherwise aware of, or to accept these problems as actual problems. Because as you know, a lot of people like to live in their own little bubble. And so we have to burst that bubble, and prayer is one way of doing that, though I think it's an ineffective and inefficient way of doing it on a large scale. Um, but the, the point is, this isn't really a religious issue, I don't think. As with many things with religion, as I mentioned in my last video, it's people using religion to manipulate the masses. Rick Perry is using this idea of the National Day of Prayer to make a huge appeal towards conservative evangelical Christians. That's just what it is. They're a huge and massive motivated voting bloc. Uh, so they're going to vote, and, they, and they, they admittedly vote for people almost solely based on their religion. Not all of them, of course, but there are significant amounts of them, of this group of people that will vote for someone based solely on the fact that they seem to be religious, or that their religious views line up, because then this it automatically follows that, you know, if they believe the same religion so intently that these people think that they're going to agree on all the politics, and they'll actually derive their politics from, you know, these people that are super religious in politics. They'll think, oh, well, you know, that's how it works. And so it fuels itself and it gets him votes. That's what it's all about. Rick Perry's trying to become president of this country. He's trying to win a, the Republican primary, which, if you've been following the news at all, hasn't been going so well. There's not a lot of front runners, which, you know, that tends to be some way it goes. You know, a lot of these people get knocked out super early and usually it tends to be unknown or unnamed, you know, like people who we don't know fuck all about that rise through towards the end and gain a lot of popularity because the front runners early on get attacked so viciously that they're almost sacrificial. You can't gain your popularity beforehand and then run for president. It doesn't usually work that way. Uh, usually you just kind of rise up from obscurity. And if, and if you look at the presidential primaries and how they tend to happen, this seems to be the case a significant amount of times. So what's, what these candidates want to do is try and secure, you know, um, certain segments of the population that will vote for them, you know, no matter what. And if you do this huge National Day of Prayer thing, you're definitely making an appeal to the conservative evangelical Christians who will participate in the day of prayer and the other Christians that will participate in the day of prayer. It's using this idea of prayer to manipulate people into voting for them. And I think that's the real criticism that has to be made here. We have to criticize the people who are actually doing the praying for wasting their fucking time doing something inefficient and ineffective and just plain stupid by expecting some fictional, imagined, hallucinated, whatever it happens to be entity to fix all their problems for them. You know, that, that's obviously stupid, but, and we should criticize them for it. But we also need to criticize uh, Rick Perry for doing what he's actually doing. He's not leading a day of prayer. He's leading a day of vote for me.